I just washed you dirty, that. You dirty girl, you. <laughs> I just washed it. <laughs> I just. <laughs> oh, what a horrible job she does. No. <laughs> I just washed all of our windows here, and then Aja came up and redid it. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. Well, we just went through San Simon, is that what it was called? San Simon, Arizona. Yep. And this is a rest stop that's just right outside of it. You can spend the night here, but we have decided that we are going to continue uh, going further and going to the next rest stop, which is actually a visitor center, because there's not a whole lot to see out in this area, and... So we're going to just keep on rolling and making up some time so that we can get to Texas a little sooner than we had planned. 23 miles. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in this cooler weather, the rigs run so much better and uh, really not much else we would do other than pull over, have some dinner and right. take a nap or, you know, go to bed. But it's still early in the day. It's just dark. So this is how we travel sometimes yeah. <laughs> at night time. And it's only 7.14, so it's not really that late. But sometimes it's just nice to continue to drive, get a little further, and then uh, that way when we find somewhere that we want to stop and we want to film and see the sights, then we have the time to do yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. We're not missing much here. No. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera up because there's not a whole lot to see, obviously. And we'll see you guys at the next stop. You're the exit. Roger. You want to park out front here? Yeah, this is a good spot. I've got the RV blocked. 
Should I go right behind her or beside her? Just beside her. Yeah, this is great. We made it to Sam Simon and we, no, that's not where we're at. <laughs> nope, guys, we're at Lordsburg, New Mexico. And we pulled in here, it's pretty late. We went ahead and just uh, threw some sausages with some vegetables. We've got zucchini and green beans and cabbage and uh, watercress nuts and onions. And then our little sausages are down here somewhere. Yummy. So we just threw those in there. It's a very quick meal when you've been on the road all day long. Cooks up probably about 20 minutes. Very simple to put together. And that's it. Oops. And very yummy. Very yummy. Oh, there's Scotty. Say good night. <laughs> good night all. Good night. Well, good day, everyone. So we are here just out of Lordsburg, uh, New Mexico. We're at the, uh, it's a rest area, but it's also a visitor's information center. Very nice place. We stayed the night here. Uh, we got here fairly late in the dark. And nice and quiet. The highway's going to go that way a little ways. And, uh, so I wanted to show you real quick what it looks like, and um, then I'll walk over to the visitor center. I'm not going to go in there. I'm just going to kind of show you around real quick. So we got here. See you around. They have a dumpster over here for your garbage. Uh, I didn't see any place to get any water or anything like that. Um, gas stations on each side of the highway. And also, when I got up, I have to scream because it's really windy. I have something underneath my truck. I might save that, uh, oh, what do you call the dang thing? Tumbleweed. Terry been wanting one, and I haven't been able to stop, but now one captured me. But anyways, this is a neat little rest area for the night. Like I said, it's been pretty quiet. And uh, really what they have over here inside is some nice little places that you can stay for the day or whatever and, and barbecue. Really nice, clean bathrooms. Um, like I said, there's no water out here, no sewer dump or anything like that. But I was um, I was kind of intrigued with what they have here for you just to kick back and have a barbecue. Usually a lot of the places don't have too much other than a nice bathroom. But I want to say it has like five of these little uh, rooms. Check it out. Come in here, stay out of the sun. Little barbecue out there. And then you even have a nice uh, grass field here. Oh, uh, not a field, a little area to stand in. They have a fountain, obviously it's winter time, so they're not using it. There's the visitor center. You can go in there and uh, talk to the young ladies in there. And big old bathroom on this side for the ladies. Big old bathroom over this side for the men. So they have six of these little rooms. And if you notice, I'm kind of yelling because it's really windy. I'm not going to complain about the cold anymore. Um, we're going east. It's only going to get better. But if you're traveling and you happen to be out this way, then uh, this was a really nice place to stay for the night. Really quiet. The highway wasn't too bad. Lots of room. There's even a big uh, welcome sign right over here. The highway is fairly close, but um, really it's not too uh, noisy. So no complaints here. Just wanted to show you real quick where, you, where we are. You see I have the solar out, getting some power again, and we're getting ready to head out. Uh, we're going to go east for probably another 60, 90 miles, something like that. All right, so we just came across from the uh, rest area that we stayed at last night. There's this little uh, trading post here, but really what got my interest was the little Volkswagen over here. And uh, I think it was Hermie, Hermie the Volkswagen. And I think the Volkswagen was actually a, a little different year than this one over here, but I wanted to come and have a look-see. I love me some Volkswagens. So uh, looking at this looks like about a 70, maybe a 1970 non-Super Beetle. Look at that, got brand new tires on it. 
Sweet! I love it! Just hanging out, let's see. Can't really see inside. Well. Yeah, I see the four lug pattern, so I want to say this is pretty sure around 70s or whatever like that. I'd open the hood and show the engine, but I don't want to get in trouble. Got a Monza exhaust. I do remember those exhaust systems back when I used to uh, work on Volkswagens. Anyways, I had to come out and show it. So we're getting ready to head out and everything. Um, geez, Torres Benson. Damn, that's not even a right place. Heck, I'm not sure. I think it's Benson. But look at the distance. You got Look at those snow capped mountains. Anyway, Alex is in there doing some videotaping. Um, neat little place to stop out. And now we're gonna head out. So let's get on the road. Make some miles today. Head east. Find the warmth. Right, so we left Lordsburg. We're on our way to Deming, uh, New Mexico, and there's absolutely nothing out here. This is like the flat desert, desert, everything. The only thing there is, though, that's kind of cool to look at is all these signs that tell you what's coming up. And it looks like we're coming up maybe on the Continental Divide. Now, that could be true, I'm not sure. And I went through here last year. But that's what you have to look at right now, a bunch of signs. So, and fireworks. So we must have a lot of reasons to have fireworks. <laughs> Anyways, it's windy, boring, but it's sunny. So we have about an hour drive today, a little over an hour drive, and uh, we'll be in uh, Deming. My GoPro is picking up everything I'm saying for some reason. I think it loves me. Do you love me, GoPro? Are you recording, GoPro? Why are you beeping, GoPro? Talk to me. It's being shy. Are you camera shy, GoPro? GoPro, turn on. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, you can go back to sleep now. It's boring anyway, so GoPro, go back to sleep. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, stop. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. 